majestic beauty of a place like this is indescribable. When I first stepped on the ice, no, there's nothing I can compare with it, nothing. But to be honest with you, and Susie was with me, I actually cried. Uh, it was very emotional for me to be in a place of absolute solitude where very, very few people have set foot on. What gets me about the wildlife is they make us feel one of them. We're just a bigger species or they're not frightened. They look at you, oh, all right, and off they waddle and so you're at home. You've been accepted, which is very unusual for wildlife, isn't it? Just walking around having the penguins walk up to you is really cool and the seals and just absolutely brilliant. And then getting onto the Antarctic Peninsula itself and watching the little penguins come up all startled out of the water. Just everything. It's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I loved um, the Antarctic Peninsula. I loved South Georgia. For me, the Chimu trip just ticked all the boxes. It had Shackleton, it had animals, great group of people, great boat. And this is very, very different but it is stunning and it is pristine and you hope that the world just treasures a place like this. It's just the wild terrain and so you're on a lunar landscape. You've got to take the opportunity while you have it and do it. Hang the expense, just go and make the most of it because you never know, you may never get that opportunity again. I really like the, the east side of the Antarctic continent and the Ross Sea as well, especially for history. A lot of the main uh, event in the Antarctic history happened here. Uh, of course, Shackleton, Scott, Hillary, uh, Amundsen, Mawson. My dream was to go to Mawson, never, we never made it. We got within eight uh, nautical miles, but just to be close enough is just like being close to a rose. You can smell it, but yet you can't quite get to it. But the smell is good enough sometimes because it lets out an aroma and a perfume, which you don't forget. <laughs>